dollar, dollar, dollar. Dirt and money, no soul. Had to go and get it, ain't no time to kick it. Got a stack of flip for my foes. Dollar, 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 dollar. Please tell me you can hear me. Don't turn your back and don't neglect me. Just let me know if you need me. Dollar, 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 dollar. Let me watch out for my partners. Keep my money long, get my team strong. Let me run away from my problems. Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's your boy DJ New Kid, your girl. Sierra Nicole. Back on the channel with another one. Back on the channel with another reaction. Back on the channel with another. Kid and see original. Welcome, welcome back to the channel, man. <laughs> if y'all back and new to the channel, haven't done so already, go ahead. Please tell them what to do. Make sure that you like, comment, share, and subscribe. And don't forget to turn on your post notifications so that you're always on the phone when we upload a new video. See, <laughs> <laughs> you know, straight like that. Also, go ahead and check out the links in the description down below. You already know where to go. Go ahead, go over there to the main channel. Go ahead, check out that amazing content over there. You know, we always, you know what I'm saying, rep the main channel. Definitely. But with that being said, we back with another reaction, man. We back with how a rapper snuck at RPG into Chicago. Chicago. You know what RPG is? Oh, gosh. I'm I just know. asking, like. I know you. I was like, if he asked me what that is. I swear. Oh. <laughs> I'll just, I can't ask a question. No. No questions. No questions. Okay, come on. All right, with that being said, man, we want to go ahead and get into it. We want to go ahead and see what this one is about. You ready? Yes. I'm just trying to make sure you're ready. Road to 200K. Go ahead. Road to what? 100K. Oh. I said 100K. Okay. Road to 100K, man. Go ahead. Let's hit the sub button, man. Definitely. <laughs> right, what is that? We got to talk about the situation in Chicago that is infamous. It's a, it's a moment in history. And that's the time that an anti-tank rocket launcher was found in the streets of Chicago. And the whole city damn near had a panic attack. Now, this story takes place in 2013, 2014, right at the height of the Chicago drill scene. This is when Chicago was coined as Chirac. And the reason they called it Chirac was because the death toll in the city was climbing up so high that it resembled the death toll of American soldiers fighting overseas in the Middle East, in Iraq crazy. and Afghanistan. Now, the fact that Chicago adopted this name Chirac, and it just so happens that a bazooka, a rocket launcher, was found in Chicago during the same time, that's some sick shit. So in 2013, the Chicago police had received intel that somebody in the 3rd District of Chicago had gotten their hands on an anti- A rocket launcher, not just one. How you even got that on the streets anywhere? Where did you even get it in America? Like, it, exactly. Like, Where did you go? You to just, get you this? got a plug, like, Who hey, did, bro, I yeah. need a rocket launcher, bro. And like, it's the difference between a prop and something that's real. That's real. And as you got a real rocket launcher on the streets, bro. What the? What you trying? To what see? is going on? Yeah, I don't know. I thought. <laughs> Before. But before we get this into the too? video, I have to give a big shout out to today's sponsor, and that's the awesome team over at Grade Miners. If you guys are really struggling right now trying to complete your essays, trust me, I feel your pain. But don't worry, Grade Miners has you covered. You literally go to their website and choose any type of essay you want them to complete for you. You pay them, and it's done. Check out their Instagram. You can actually place your order on there. It's even easier. The link in the description if you need any help with your essays. Put in Forever 20 for 20% off your order. Go check them out. And now back to the because at the time, Rondo was posting to Instagram a bunch of photos with him holding what seemed to be a rocket launcher. And these photos were getting a lot of attention online from fans, from civilians, but also from the government, right? They were watching. In fact, the police had been collecting an archive of photos of all these different Chirac rappers with these exotic weapons. Tommy guns, semi-automatic rifles, and of course, this one with Rondo holding a goddamn... <laughs> And like, Bro, why are you even putting like, all this stuff like... The fact y'all getting all these type of weapons in the in city of Chicago. Weapons that you know you shouldn't even be having. And then you got the nerve to post up. Like, it's, all, it's already one thing y'all have AKs and, you know what I'm saying, some regular guns out here on the streets. But y'all got like bazookas, like y'all got heavy artillery, bro. <laughs> like this ain't this ain't so, like a tummy gun, bro. Y'all really got tummy. Like y'all, who y'all shooting at? <laughs> who was that big of a threat? Exactly. That you need That's a, the question. Exactly. Y'all mobs out here now. That's crazy, man. Bro. 
Suka, this led the police to create an entirely new unit dedicated to building up infrastructure online of researchers that were using AI to basically figure out all these different slangs and gang codes that were being used on social media. And the goal was to stop them in their tracks before the aggression became deadly. The murder rate kept mm. increasing, bodies were dropping every day, and there was one specific red zone. Now, you might be wondering, how do you actually get your hands on a rocket launcher in the U.S.? Well, it's really not that hard. Mm -hmm. Now, the rocket launcher that Rondo was in possession of is actually called an AT-4. Now, these were built in Sweden, but mainly used by the American military to give soldiers a means to destroy armored vehicles or fortifications in the Middle East. Like, this oh, was used yeah. in the Afghan war, and the reason the military loved these weapons at first was because they were extremely easy to use. You basically pull them out of the package, aim through the sights, take the safety off, pull the trigger, and boom, shit explode. Mm -hmm. But, the same way that these AT-4s were extremely mobile and extremely practical for people to pull out and fire and keep moving was also that you could only fire it once it only came with one mm. unit of ammunition and after that the launcher was pretty much useless you discarded mm. it these launchers were extremely cost effective and cheap you could buy one of these for one thousand five hundred dollars now what's crazy in america <laughs> you can actually buy a rocket launcher without a background check without a 4473 but that's not a good thing, but that explains it all. Bro, and it's cheap, cheap. It's cheap. Bro, yeah. a rocket, bro, you can blow a whole, bro, like, that is oh, crazy. crazy. That's crazy. <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? He, he can just shoot at a building and it's gone. Just boom, like, damn. Yeah. Hey, Each works. projectile, basically the thing that blows up, is considered a destructive device in America and it requires a specific tax stamp from the ATF. And the going rate for these is $200 and extremely, extremely difficult to get. And usually you're put on a waiting list for 4 to 12 months. So, while it's highly unlikely, there are rare instances where someone could actually have a bazooka with the rocket and is able to shoot. So when the police came across these photos of Rondo holding this AT-4 anti-tank rocket launcher, they posted a bulletin, they let people in the neighborhood know, and they also made plans to go intervene, track down Rondo number 9, and get to the bottom of it. Now, we don't know the specifics of what happened, but of course Rondo took to Twitter and he posted basically angry that people were blowing up his spot. He was even saying, right, like, who the fuck would do something with a rocket launcher? He was pretty mad that these photos of him with a bazooka were getting a lot of attention. Don't post a photo with you in a rocket launcher. Exactly. Now, we don't really know what happened. Eventually, Rondo ended up deleting the photo of him with the rocket launcher. But shortly after, another photo surfaced and a different rapper known as P. Rico posted a photo to Instagram of a rocket launcher leaning up on his door. We don't know if it's the same one. That's crazy. That's what I'm saying. Like, cause, like to, be, to be real, like, guns do get passed around. Yeah. And that's why, like, you know what I'm saying? You... you a lot of people done got, like, got caught with a strap. It got traced back to different bodies. You ain't the one to pull it, but you going down for the crime because, yeah. you know what I'm saying, too many people that had it. But y'all pass around. just pass around. Like, <laughs> like, really? Rocket luncheon, bro. Like, really, bro? Like, y'all really? Come on, now. Clearly, there's a connect in Chicago that's hooking people up with rocket launchers. Exactly. Now, when it comes down to it, if he could have used the rocket launcher or not, really kind of stupid anyways. The rocket launcher would have been highly ineffective. Most people in the States who carry guns don't know how to fire it anyway. Most people could not shoot the ocean from a boat. So I don't know what the purpose when you're walking around the south side of Chicago with a bazooka. Like, it's just, it's not effective. Unless you're aiming to, you know, take out someone's grandma's place or something, it's kind of pointless. But for real, it was probably just a prop, right? It was something to post on the Instagram. Like, look, I got a fucking rocket launcher. I mean, he's got a song called Taliban. So he's probably just trying to stick with the brand. And of course, this was good promo for Rondo. All the blogs picked it up. His music videos were doing millions of views. But unfortunately, in 2014, Rondo and another rapper known as C-Day were charged in the murder of a cab driver where they basically pulled up to his cab and they shot him seven times. And now Rondo is currently serving 39 years in prison for that murder. So the lesson is, while the bazooka may not have been deployed to destroy, it definitely was an illustration of what was going on in Chicago at the time and how bad it got. Anyways, that's it for this video. Make sure Yo, you subscribe. That is, that's, that's, I think that's the most like big picture of it is the numbers. The numbers. Bro. The numbers crazy. The numbers are through the roof. Yeah. Man, it's crazy.
Go ahead and spam up the comment section down below. Let us know some more things you want to see us react to. We most definitely will get to it. But y'all already know what it is, man. I do go by the name DJ New Kid. This is Sierra Nicole. We are Kid and C. We out, y'all.